Hey guys, wanted to show you a quick and easy transition drill that you can use in practice. This is going to be really good for working on your transition defense. So here we have a team going into just kind of a dummy offense. They'll fly up the floor and then on the other side there's a, a group of five guys ready to fly in on offense. So there's a coach on the baseline with a basketball. So as soon as this ball goes through, he's pitching in ahead and it's five on five. Now you see the defense there didn't do a good job of communicating and getting matched up. Um, we will only give the offense about seven to eight seconds to score. So it is a good um, offensive drill in that sense that you know you can get your kids to try to play a little bit faster, a little bit quicker, but it's mainly to work on that transition defense, sprinting back, communicating, making sure you're matched up um, and, and you're getting back quickly. So here you go again, as soon as that ball goes through, the offense is flying up the floor. They only have about seven or eight seconds to score. So your defense has to get loaded up, communicate, and really try to stop them from scoring quickly. So this drill works really well if you have 20 players. So if you have you know two groups of five starting on offense, that will eventually become the transition defensive team. And then on the other end, if you have two groups of five ready to play offense right now, you know, flying into a, a transition offensive possession. So we'll usually do this probably like varsity versus JV. We'll try to have, you know, two groups of five on each side. And then about midway through the drill, we'll flip it. So it's, it's a good drill for you to work on a lot of different things. Number one, you know, I think oftentimes in practice when you're going through kind of a dummy offense, you know, kids will go through the motions and it doesn't really simulate, you know, a game-like situation. So this is a way to, you know, you can go through dummy offense, but then they're forced to instantly get back on defense. So um, it, it adds that layer that's going to make it more game-like. Um, and, and again, it's a really good transition defensive drill because often in, in games, you're not really just standing right next to your man. You have to fly back and you might have to guard somebody that's not your man for for that possession or for a few seconds. Um, you know, on the flip side, we feel like this is a good transition offensive drill as well. So again, you have seven to eight seconds to score. So you're really communicating to your team that you want them to fly up the floor, you know, good spacing on that transition offense um, and, and get good possessions. So again, if it's not there, you don't want them to force up a bad shot or a turnover, but it does get your kids to play a little bit faster. I have to give credit where credit is due. We saw this drill um, ran by BYU's college program uh, and really liked it. Now we've you know added a few layers of our own to it, but um, we think it's a really good drill for transition. It's a really good drill to work on your communication, sprinting back on defense. But again, it's also a drill that's going to work on your offensive transition as well. So again, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hope that these drills will help you in practice and hope Hopefully make your team better. Thanks.